Hey guys, welcome to ATEC Officials. I'm Annie, and today I'm gonna show you the steps to install the NVIDIA GeForce GT710 2GB graphic card into your PC. So I have purchased the ASUS 2GB DDR3 NVIDIA GeForce GT710 graphic card, and I have already unboxed it. And for more information about this graphic card, you can watch my previous video of unboxing and reviewing about this uh, NVIDIA GT710 graphic card and the links are given in the description you can click that link to watch the video so here is our graphic card with this heat sink given here and the VGA port HDMI port and the DVI port given so before installing it let me talk about the PC I have taken I have taken a refurbished HP cabinet PC which has core to quad 2.66 GHz CPU installed in it which has 4 cores and an instruction set of 64 bit and it also contains a western digital 250 GB hard disk drive and it also contains a CPU cooler it doesn't contain a stock fan it contains a CPU cooler which is a very good thing about it because we are making a low budget gaming PC as I have mentioned in my previous video that I have used this GT710 graphic card for making a low budget gaming PC so that it can run main gaming titles like uh, GTA 5 and Assassin's Creed and other gaming titles so let's open this cabinet and I also forgot to mention that it has a 4GB of DDR2 RAM installed on board can be expandable up to 16 gigabyte so here we have the inside view of my refurbished HP CPU and as you can see that the it is a little bit messed up because due to these wires and SATA cables so this is the CPU cooler I am talking about so this is not a stock fan as you can see it is a CPU cooler with this huge heat sink given here and with this copper tubing which absorbs the heat and uh, allows the heat to flow out from the CPU itself. So this is the CPU cooler. The fan of the CPU cooler is fitted at the end of it and this is the western digital 250 GB hard disk drive and these are the RAM ports given here uh, four ports where you can install up to 16 GBs of RAM I have installed only 4 GBs of RAM DDR2 is supported on this type of motherboard the motherboard is also made by HP because this is not a assembled PC this is a whole HP tower PC you can search it on eBay or any other site which uh, provides you with the refurbished PCs so this is not a very bad PC it is a very good PC in that much price I have purchased it in about 7000 rupees so it is a very very much uh, in budget price so it has 5 SATA ports given here yeah and uh, this is the cooling fan given at the back side of it which uh, will help us in cooling our graphic card and this is the PCIe Express port where you gonna insert your graphic card in on every motherboard uh, almost everyone has this uh, by default black colored PCIe Express card uh, slot which uh, denotes that this is the right slot for inserting the graphic card so if your PC have this type of black uh, PCI Express port then you can insert it inside that or if it is of a different color code you can read the description of the motherboard of your CPU itself. I also have this white slot named uh, PCIe Express into 4 and I'm gonna use this uh, PCIe Express into 16 one. Okay so I'm gonna use this black one. So let's insert our graphic card inside the cabinet so f before installing it we have to remove this plastic sheet which is uh, protecting the connector pins of the 
graphic card as you can see these pins are smaller compared to the port given here the port is uh, bigger but this that is not a thing to worry about because um, in this port each and every pins are not used it may differ from the models of the graphic card so in our model it has given small pins and uh, in the port is given here into 16 pins and in our model is I think into 10 pins so which is less than 16 so that's not a thing to worry about just keep on going inserting it so before inserting it uh, you have to open this panel which holds the video card and sound card and the graphic card itself so these panels are differ in each and every cabinet models so in my model I don't have to unscrew it in some models you have to unscrew it but I have this clicking system just have to click it once and click it twice and easily it comes out as you can see it's the flap comes out and you can in slide it insert the graphic card inside it and then again lock it so that's what I'm gonna do it and uh, gonna take my graphic card and gonna slide it inside it and gonna lock the port so that's it so be careful about these pins because these pins are very very much sensitive and you don't have to don't want to break it up so be careful in inserting this do not uh, apply much more force because it will damage your graphic card and you have to also match the window which uh, window you are using so before that inserting it match this just like that that which window is occupied by your graphic card and in my case it is the first window itself the first windows is occupied by my graphic card and the other two windows are not occupied so I'm using the first top window itself so as you can see I have uh, slid it up and pressed it so that it fits perfectly but do not over press it as I have mentioned it will break your pins of the graphic card so just gently press it and then lock it lock the panels so that it holds in its position correctly so I have locked the panels so it is hold in position correctly as you can see this so we have to install our software for working of this graphic card those software contains the drivers of the graphic card without those drivers this graphic card is just a piece of hardware without the software so it won't work so let's clean it up and uh, again gonna pack my CPU cabinet and so here you can see I have successfully installed the graphic card and we have boot up and uh, I have installed the window stand on it and uh, before get your graphic card work properly you have to install that GPU tweak 2 disk came with it this disk you have to install it this disk contains all those softwares and all those drivers so just you have to insert this disk and gonna ins uh, install all the softwares inside it so So as you can see, our disk is loading. And here's our disk. So this is our disk and you have to just install it but I will uh, suggest you to open it first and uh, then install this uh, UI here UI application or you can install this check ID application 
so for checking your system requirement you can install this check id application first run this check id application and if you will run this check id application then you will see an application like this here you have got the manuals and here you have to just press the install button to uh, install all the drivers and gp tweak 2 so i have already installed it so i am not going to install it again and after that installing these drivers and the gp tweak 2 you have to then goes to the drivers then goes to the the operating system you are working on windows 7 windows 8 or windows 10 i am here i'm using a windows 10 with the 64 bit process operating system and and you have to just double click this setup icon here so this will install all those nvidia drivers which is required to run the graphic card properly and it will also install the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software which will optimize your games automatically according to your system specifications and just you have to do like this only and after installing this you will got a icon like this and here we you can see a panel like this so this is the GPU tweak 2 software looks like so it has some very very good features just like the OC mode which uh, overclock the graphic card itself so you don't have to overclock it and um, so since overclocking is a very very dangerous process it might uh, heat up your graphic card and might destroy its chip so so it is a pre overclocking system is given here so if you will press this overclocking mode on it will overclock automatically overclock your graphic card as so as you can see here the performance of the graphic card is increased to 102 percent gpu speed is 102 percent and the vr ram is usage is six percent because i am not using any game so not running a game and the gpu temperature 32 degrees celsius but the overclocking mode is uh, given here but it has some limitations that it will increase your gpu temperature so as i have mentioned in my previous video so please bought a cabinet cooling fan so that your graphic card doesn't get heat up and um, I have already installed uh, pre-installed a cooling fan inside the C HP cabinet so I don't have to install any other uh, cooling fan and here you can see the gaming mode uh, which will balance keep a balance in everything coolness silence and performance so so you have to play a games uh, you can just enable the gaming mode or if you are playing some more high graphic games you can click on to OC mode which is the overclock mode and the silent mode given here since uh, it is an doesn't have any fan so it is a pre-silenced graphic card you can as you can say that it has a zero decibel silent sound so it doesn't have make noises you don't have to use this type of mode but uh, if you want to use it you can use it uh, and this is our your own profile mode you can enable it and it will work like your user profile and here you can in the professional mode you can see this you can set the overclocking and all those frame rates but these are locked by the asus company itself so so you can unlock it and increase it so it is, here is the graph which shows the GPU voltage, GPU clock used, memory clock used and all those things it shows in the graph format as you can see so this type of software comes with it so it is a very good software to use with this your Asus graphic card so guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.